shows that triumphing over tragedy is definitely the best way to live your life. Well, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, and I gotta accept, you know, what's given to me in life and go on with it and can't just sit home and, and still alive. Come here, everybody, get it This guy drinks from his eyeball. What kind of shit? That is just wrong. What is this world coming to that that is amusing? I don't understand. I'm bored and I'm watching her. Please believe it or not, on my Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge me, judge me. Is that the definition of beauty changes from culture to culture? Now, one of the most extreme definitions can be found in an ancient Chinese beauty scene. It's a forbidden practice that's enjoying a one woman in the Bible. Never done this in front of anybody before. <laughs> Nancy Luna has invited us into her bedroom for a reason. She is in the process of duplicating an ancient ritual of mutilation. A ritual considered so barbaric, it was banned in China almost 100 years ago. It's called foot binding. What the fuck? Remarkably, for 900 years, this version of the female foot was a source of erotic fantasy for the men of China. In fact, a woman with normal unbound feet was considered low class and could never hope to attract a suitable husband. Beverly Jackson is an expert on the ancient ritual. The Chinese man generally had never seen that foot. To him, the foot could be any sort of strange erotic dream he had, and frequently they did very strange things with those feet. The bones of the young girl's feet were bound so tightly that over a period of two years, the bones actually broke. A tiny foot wrapped in linen and called the Gilded Lily was the final result. But it came at a terrible price. For a girl whose feet are bound at six, she went through a living hell for about two years. These are actual foot binding shoes worn by adult women. For these women, the simple task of walking was an excruciating experience. The walk, which in itself was a tremendous sexual turn on to men, was called the lotus gate. It was a gentle swaying that was necessary because of the way the women had to walk all the way down on the heel, so there was a gentle swaying motion. Nancy Luna sways to a different beat, enjoying the freedom and choices of a modern woman. But why deliberately reenact the painful ritual? Beauty is pain. That's just how it is, you know? If you want a nice body, you need to work out, you need to exercise. That's pain. As an exotic dancer and contortionist, you'd expect her to be accustomed to unusual positions. It's more of like an, an experiment to me to see how small I can get them. It's a challenge. I'm testing my body to see what it can do. I just think it's really pretty. Feet um, can be really pretty or they can be really ugly. Although Nancy's feet have never been broken, she has decided to continue the centuries-old tradition of tight wrapping. The size and shape of her foot changes dramatically for the duration of a session. Before the binding begins, we draw an outline of Nancy's foot so we can see how much of a difference it will make. The first part of it is to bind your instep. This part here is called she ten. When you get the toes and you, you bind them downwards, and with each roll, you want to cover one toe. Now this part is called she can. Now you want to get the big toe and uh, wrap the big toe around the heel. I got the toes What the fuck downward. is this bitch doing? The whole length of my foot is shortened and compressed this way, uh, taller. Nancy is accustomed to being completely in control of her own body. The confinement and limitation of having bound feet is what drew her to it. The whole point of binding your feet is to be immobile. It's impossible to put my weight down because this bone will crack. <laughs> so I have to crawl back to the bedroom. It's time to see if Nancy achieved the reduction she was hoping for. Her bound feet were one and a half inches shorter and a great deal more narrow. Overall, a reduction.
reduction of about 25%. I can feel my circulation going away. But I look at them and I like the way they look, so that's what keeps me going. For Nancy, the bound state is also part of a romantic ritual. She'll stay in this self-imposed confinement for about two hours. Then, the unwrapping begins. Feels like pins. Um, when your foot is asleep and it's waking back up again. She has revived an ancient custom that nearly crippled the females of an entire nation. For her, it's a fascination with binding's erotic roots. According to some experts, back in the late 1800s, as many as 90% of Chinese women had their feet bound. Ow. Please believe it or not. Oh, don't do that, women. Do not bind your feet, please. That shit just makes me hurt. 